Yo, welcome Fronies to the cooking guide where I will try to explain you how to level up cooking the fastest, what's the best way to farm the ingredients for the cooking and of course how to earn Lucent with the cooking as a free to play player. So the first ingredient that is important are all the herbs and you will see here I'm currently at nesting grounds right here and um, on the map you can already see someone started collecting but there's lots of herbs. So when you need any form of herbs you will go and do that here on the nesting ground. If you want to increase your value by farming this you can also kill mobs along. Nah? Those mobs will for example give you eggs that you can um, use for crafting and you can also triple your value if you're having a guild contract up that is also being done when you kill one of those mobs. So you will see here I will kill one of those mobs and I'm also getting percentages for the guild contracts which will then give me additional value as well. Your way to go to farm mushrooms is the carmine forest right here. As you see I just ported here instantly two mushrooms. In this area you will always find mushrooms no matter what and you can do the similar same tactics to get additional value as at the nesting grounds. A really rare core ingredient that you need early on is also the salt and your go-to farm spot is the windhill shores right here. This is especially efficient because they are really low level the monsters here and you can almost one shot them and it gives you a great farm speed. Another great way to get resources for your cooking is actually the Amitoy expedition. Try to make sure that you're looking for those rewards right here either routine or salt and you do want to send out your army toys as one hour packs so every time one hour one hour one hour one hour if you go to sleep you want to do it eight hours this will give you the highest value sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed currently 91.2 percent of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel so let's make a deal if you learn something new in this video you have to subscribe. So now another way to get ingredients is actually the fishing. You always want to do your fishing, buy your daily baits and all of that. Because you will see right here, all fishes are needed to craft food. This will give you additional experience to level up your cooking. And now the most important part is that PvP food, uh, the best in slot PvP food, is actually a seafood platter that requires fish, which means that fishing will give you access to the best PvP food and stuff like this. If you are getting a great success in cooking, can be sold in the auction house. So if you are fast on crafting food like this, you will earn a lot of Lucent. And the faster you can level up your cooking to the max level, the higher your great success chance will be and the more of the food you will get to actually be selling to other people. But let's talk a bit on how you actually level up um, your stuff and the most important key ingredient for that is the is the pickled fruit candy so this one will have 15 percent mastery bonus when you are crafting something else it lasts for like 30 minutes ish or 15 if you're only getting the white one but still that is enough so that means you will basically farm all the ingredients all day long and maybe at the end of your day you will do one cooking session you craft that food you turn it on you will craft everything else and then you're upgrading. The stuff that you do want to craft and that is easy to um, level up in the early game is the mushroom stir fry right here because all of those resources can be farmed unlimited. You're not capped with any daily. And the last land style fish stew that's also giving 14 EXP. This will give you uh, an easy time in the early stages. Of course, you can craft everything else as well where you have the materials. Those are just your go-tos because you can farm them unlimited. And once you are reaching cooking level 9, you will then be getting access to the healthy milk. That milk is extremely valuable. It will basically make you never run out of mana as long as you are in a dungeon. This is what that symbol says. Milk can be bought unlimited and protein can be farmed unlimited by lots of different monsters. So this is your go-to to actually get your cooking up all the way. And of course, once you've reached that, you will also unlock other stuff that is giving good experience. But this is your unlimited farmer that you can push to level 21, basically in like the first days. Like I've not focused on cooking, for example, I'm just doing it as a side. I've been doing all the events, like I've not put lots of time in gathering or what. And with my strategy, I'm already level 12. 
like only like three days in. Oh, and now the last important part, some of those ingredients, they have a daily limit. So that, like I said, the egg ones here, for example, the golden rye and the honey, every time when you log into the game, make sure you buy all your daily stuff first. So you do not forget it. And all the other ingredients you can he buy here for a couple of Solent. And if you're doing it in Vienta Village, the Sunrise Merchant and the Cooking Oven are the closest next to each other out of all the locations. So it's also not a big deal in case you miss something to run back and forward. Yeah, guys, that was it with the video. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. So now start cooking, farm that loose end, and cheers, guys.